welcome to London Heathrow Gin Bar. This is our famous signature calamari salt and pepper squid. Mm, very Australian cuisine. <laughs> it is called Alda Flav. Welcome to our new quarters lounge. We also have a private room for our celebrity VIP guests. So today we're going to be taking off at Heathrow. I always feel like I'm home when I get on the Qantas flight. I love this pajama. Qantas cocktail. Oh, this is the pasta. Oh, the Guinness bit. We've got the tandoori chicken salad. I am plating meals now. Beautiful. There is a self-serve bar here. Only available on this long flight. I've got your boarding cards here for London to Perth and then Perth to the Sydney flight. No, yes. Thank you very, very much. So welcome to our new lounge. Come on in. To all of the wonderful people, Hednos is the very famous gin bar. Welcome to the lower deck part of the Quarters Lounge. Just to my far left is the very famous dining area, which obviously became the menu day service. Okay, soba noodle salad. <laughs> It's really amazing. Like I like how you know the taste of Australian meals has reminded me of my time I lived in Sydney for 14 years. Just right behind me is the absolutely amazing cocktail bar. What's your signature cocktail here? Uh, beef eater. Elder flop. Oh, this is the ginger ale. Ginger ale. Bundaberg. Bundaberg, yeah. 20 ml. Pulse juice, 25 ml. 15 ml of lemon juice. And we'll be using cucumber. And here it is called Elder flop. Welcome to our breakfast buffet service. So we open at 8 a.m. in the morning mm -hmm. and we close at about 9 p.m. Non-stop so throughout the day? Throughout open. the day, yep. The lounge is open all day from 8 a.m. till about 9 p.m. until our Qantas mm -hmm. 2 flight is gone. One World Emerald and Emerald, Sapphire. Yep. Qantas Club. Qantas Club, Qantas Platinum, Gold, Qantas Platinum, Platinum One, Gold. Yeah. So if you're on a um, a Qantas coach here with Emirates, mm -hmm. you can also you can also come into the lounge as well. This is Millie. This is my Qantas lounge host. She was sharing stories. She actually started in Qantas in Zimbabwe in Harare. Which year did you start with Qantas? That was in 1997. 97 when Qantas fly 747-300 to Harare Absolutely. and Johannesburg. Twice, twice a week. And I'm actually going to Zimbabwe next week. I'm going to fly on Air Zimbabwe and visit Zimbabwe next week to Harare. Very excited. Oh, Sam, say hello to my fellow countrymen back home in Harare. Thank you, Sam. Definitely will do. Lovely Ooh. to have you with us. Thank Yay. you. Thank you so Hi, much. Nice to see you. Hi Sam, um, my name's Mark Krieger and we're, I'm flying with um, a crew of four. So today we're going to be taking off at Heathrow off uh, 09 right and uh, it's going to be a northerly route today to pick up the advantage of the winds and we'll take a northerly route. We'll start at um, uh, 35,000 feet, that's where we can get to at max takeoff weight, uh, so it's quite a good altitude to start with and then we'll ultimately end up um, 39 uh, possibly 41,000 feet. So, and that'll be about 16 hours and six, seven minutes. I'm looking forward to this flight because I'm going home with Qantas. I feel like I'm home already. Alan Hello. first told me he flew Qantas Sydney to London in 1966. 9th September 1966. What kind of airplane do you remember? It was a Boeing 707. And? And, and we stopped. Uh, we flew to the we land at Manila, Hong Kong, uh, Delhi, Frankfurt, London. Overnight Hong Kong, paid for by Qantas, mm. which was very nice. It's and a nice stop. How much that cost, that ticket at that it time? It cost something over £200, which would be $400 which was 10 weeks pay. Well, I've just settled in my seats at 6A here. Super excited, 16 hours and seven minute flight time. Gonna be my first non-stop from UK to Australia. Yeah, 
I'm good. Good. And you're going through to Sydney, that's correct. Correct. Okay. I'll give you a landing card for you for when you get to Perth, because you'll have to clear customs when you get to Perth. <laughs> absolutely fabulous and everyone we've spoken to also have done the flight and I think it's, it's fabulous and I think what makes the big difference is not having the disruption in the middle because of course it's not just a one and a half hour layover it's the time it takes to everyone to be woken up for the service to come through everything stowed away for landing then of course the, the transfer and then of course the same going the other way we really had a good time would you prefer uh, some cocktail yeah, I was told there's a Qantas cocktail. That's the one. Could um, you show us what it is? Yeah, which is the uh, Fokker Bates uh, alcohol to go with the cold pressed apple juice, raspberry and lemon. Qantas has is this one. <laughs> it's called James Bogues Premium Lager. This is an Aussie beer, I think. Yeah. This is the Bundaberg ginger beer. Australian I remember this. Well. This is very Australian. Yeah, the Bundaberg exactly. rum. Lovely tandoori chicken, cold with a nice Asian salad, my yeah. potato, and we have a very nice pasta with mascarpone and Parmesan cheese, and we have a Guinness braised beef. Very hot. Yeah. They yeah. smell very nice. I just can't show the smell in the video, but it's actually I'm getting hungry by looking into these meals. Chicken salad, cold Oh, with potatoes, chickpeas. Beef here, uh -huh, garlic uh -huh. bread, like and then we put. Our cutteries. Here we go. Oh. This is our meal. This is the service. Yes, with a small tray. The, with a small tray here. Yeah. So this is for for you for your the beef. Thank you. And the pasta I'm Thank for you. Thank you very much. Yes, oh, yes please. please. Yeah. Thank you. Semillon, Semillon Blanc from Margaret River. Where are you going to Australia? We're going to Perth. Perth. Oh, this is so convenient. This is direct flight for you. Yep. Yeah, you don't to have family. to stop somewhere in the middle or anywhere now. No, to family and friends in Perth. Awesome. But you're from the UK. Yes. And this is a Margaret River wine, which is even nicer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna love like all the uh, beautiful weather in Australia. Like, oh yeah. This is the premium economy meal. So we've got the tandoori chicken salad here, followed by the green leaf salad. And we put our Qantas signature dressing, which is the palm sugar, that I'll just pour on there. Mm. And then we have for dessert, the rhubarb and ginger pie with vanilla cream. And for a little snack of cheese and crackers, along with some bread, because we also serve bread rolls. I am plating meals now. It's because it comes with a side of capsicum, olives, and pumpkin. This you is a main course. This is a main course. Okay. Someone is now having an entree, so we're going straight to the main course. Oh, and here's the lamb chop. Smells on top. wonderful. Look at that. <laughs> because everything is cooked separately, and then we plate it together. Kernel of garlic yogurt on top. Beautiful. <laughs> Look at that, the fennel soup with cream fries. This is an entree, the yes. dumpling entree. Yes. This is a vegetarian one, right? Yes, yeah. it's got tofu and spinach. Overall, the meals are very good. The uh, vegetable was nice. The soup was really, really good food. Very nice sourdough bread as well. We 
we have liqueurs, baileys, we have um, Australian dessert wine and muscat. A tea please. Behind the first cabin on the Qantas Streamliner, there is a self-serve bar here. They do have a lot of nice Australian drinks. I found this one, the Bundaberg ginger ale, the ginger beer and the uh, kombucha. So I have never tried, but I heard this is good for my guts here. So I'm gonna have a try. Hi guys, today I'm gonna show you how, to, how we prepare hot chocolate here at Qantas. So I'm gonna start by adding a little bit of hot water in here to make sure the hot chocolate is nice and ready for our customers. Peppery hot chocolate powder. That's perfect. Then I'm just gonna let it sit on the side for a couple of minutes. And in the meantime, I'm gonna start eating the milk. Oh, this is milk. Yes, this is milk. And I'm gonna use the machines that we have on board. I will have the machine. That will be steaming it. Uh -huh. See, there's like a blue line here, so that's steam. That's what we need when we need to prepare like a cappuccino as well to create the foam on top of the cappuccino. We use this machine, then we use it also just to warm up the milk. Okay, so now it's time to add the milk to our chocolate. So we're gonna start by heading. It's almost ready. This is another favorite item, favorite drink, hot chocolate with marshmallow. I have given my kombucha to Mr. Allen. So Mr. Yeah. Allen, you didn't have this in 1966. Yeah, no, it's just besides you man. Cheers. Tree. Is it good? I'll open the door. <laughs> open the door. <laughs> Go to the news straight away. <laughs> So we're making up a cold infusion that we keep in the um, bar for um, our customers to help themselves with. So it's, it's called a, cold infusion? It's a fusion. cold infusion because cold we infusion. use uh, cold water for it, it's uh -huh. refreshing. Okay. It's not hot like a tea or a tisane. Um, yeah, we make it with the cold water, we let it infuse for 20 minutes and then we place it on the self-service bar so our customer can help themselves. If this one is a lemongrass and spearmint, it's a deal man, it's really good for keeping hydrated. It's just a special one, only available on this long flight from the UK to Perth. It is, it is, yes. It's uh, exclusive for this long flight. It's very comfortable, very warm, very good bedding on Qantas, good mattress as well. I'm just gonna have uh, some good some breakfast just before landing to Perth, one and a half hour to go. Um, already did 14 and a half on this flight. Some 
really healthy stuff here, like quench, which is like keep your body hydrate, anti jet lag, and don't miss drinks, signature drinks. Our well being studio here in the Perth Transit Lounge. Wow, look at this. This is a really amazing, very, very much like a sanctuary and very, very tranquil here just to stretch my body and getting my body rebalancing before a long flight and after a long flight. I had an Anzac cheesecake with a sour cherry compote. I had a cheese plate with a French soft and an Australian hard. Or I have a Maggie beer chocolate and salted caramel ice cream. What exactly Anzac cheesecake is? So on the bottom of the cheesecake you have an Anzac cookie, which is the rolled oats, the syrup, um, and we have them in Australia on Anzac Day. Okay, I'm gonna try that. Perfect. So after 22 hours, 20 minutes, I made it to Sydney from London. This is currently the fastest way to go to Australia. And thanks for that non-stop flight from Qantas that really make the journey a lot easier directly to Australia without going into a third country. So um, highly recommend it.